So, if you're even a little bit involved in the keyboard scene, you probably heard about the Keychron Q1 and the GMK Pro. But, what if I told you there's another 80% board that features a knob, has south-facing RGB, and costs under $180? Well, you probably say, well, there's no way it can sound as good as the other two. Wrong. Also, the board is wireless and comes fully assembled with a brass plate and Gateron Pro yellows. What might this mystery board be? Ta-da! It's the Kedis NJ80 fully assembled wireless hot toggle mechanical keyboard. Hey everyone, my name is Tanti, and as I mentioned before, this is the Kedis NJ80. It comes in between $135 and $175, and for the price, blows my mind. The NJ80 is an 80% keyboard and has a very similar layout to the GMMK Pro. It features a rotary knob in the top right hand corner, has south facing RGB, has two different plate options, brass and steel, and seven switch options. Inside the box we get the NJ80, some extra keycaps, pretty nice keycap puller, screwdriver for opening the board, the manuals in Chinese, an extra knob, and the god awful please manufacture stop including keycap puller. Unpacking the NJ80, my first impression is, wow, for a plastic board, this thing has some serious weight. I got the brass plate option with the Gadron Pro yellow switches. On the back, it features two rubber feet, Bluetooth 2.4 G receiver, and the on-off switch. Besides the pretty hefty weight, the keycaps are made out of PBT plastic, while the board is made out of ABS plastic. If I had to say anything, it kind of feels like a high-end Razer keyboard or a Steel Series board. The navy and gold knobs included feel sturdy and are quite nice. What surprises me the most is the stock sound. Listen to this bad boy. Oh yeah, if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It helps motivate me and helps me produce content on a more daily basis. Alright, back to the video. Taking the board apart is pretty simple. It involves two screws under the feet. After you've unscrewed those two screws, you can then take a flathead screwdriver or a flathead prying tool and unconnect the eight plastic tabs on the bottom. After that, you can just pull off the knob and the top housing to view the PCB and the bottom housing. With every wireless keyboard, make sure you're very careful disconnecting the battery, and in this case, also the knob from the PCB. These are broken, it's not a big deal, but you won't have that wireless capability. Today I'll be trying out the Temp Test mod, or as many people know it, the Tape mod. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube that go in depth on the Tape mod, but the TLDR is that you add painter's tape to the PCB, which reflects sound off the PCB and not the case. This leads to a louder, poppier, more thocky sound signature. Putting everything back together and boom, here's a sound test.
So for my thoughts on the NJ80, besides being the best stock sounding board on the market, this keyboard has a lot of features that make it better than the Q1 or GMMK Pro. Firstly, this board is wireless and includes a 44 milliamp battery. I'm using it for a few days now and it hasn't died on me. The wireless works as easy as plugging it in and turning it on. This board also has great RGB. South facing LEDs and vibrant colors, this board is really bright and looks really great during the day and at night. All in all, this board is the best all around board for the price. Though, I do highly recommend straying away from the steel plate and going with the brass plate, as the steel plate doesn't offer the same stock sound and will sound a little more pingy. Overall, this board is a plug and play and barely needs any mods to sound good. The only real con I can think about is that it only comes in white. So if you want to pick up the NJ80, I'll put the link in the description as well as my affiliate link. Any little bit helps. If you're not going to end up getting this keyboard but still want to support me, please like and subscribe. We recently hit 200 subscribers, which is massive, so I only started about 2 months ago. If you want to keep up with what I'm working on, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TauntyYT. And if you want to see me build keyboards or play video games, follow and catch me on Twitch at TauntyDaunty. Alright, that's my view on the NJ80. Catch y'all later. See ya.